Thank you very much for listening to this podcast. Now that we've uh, seen exactly uh, how this series played out, it's clear that there are some people that are really going to be in great form come this uh, Ashes series. Uh, David Warner is one. I I would expect he should be um, preparing for a very big Ashes. Then there's also Steve Smith, of course. Steve Smith, it's been a while since he scored 100, but uh, in all this time, he's been pretty much always at the forefront in the run-making department, always there or thereabouts, just falling short of um, clicking into first into into the into the final gear, but always really looking good when he bats at the crease. Um, among the bowlers, you would have to say that there is a outside chance that Pat Cummins will be playing in the Ashes as the third bowler behind um, Josh Hazelwood and Mitchell Stark. The other option would be Nathan Coulton Nile. I I couldn't really see Peter Siddle making a comeback at this situation, so it's probably just going to be a competition between those two. And um, one of the most troubling issues that Australia has been facing is the one-day international spin bowling. So, for a while, Australia were in favour of Cameron Boyce, and then they swapped him for... Adam Zampa, and now they've brought in a bit of Ashton Agar. And all three of these bowlers have been playing plenty of limited overs cricket, both 2020s and one-day internationals, and they have not been able to uh, go into the highest quality of performances. There were stages where Adam Zampa was starting to reach that, where he was taking bags of wickets, um, but going for lots of runs. But for this series, things didn't come into didn't click into place. His uh, bowling average for the series was 47, with four wickets from three games. So the question would be: Can Australia find a new Brad Hogg, a one-day international specialist spinner who can uh, bowl in those sorts of one-day international situations and take lots and lots of wickets? just like Brad Hogg do, did, and really contribute to a uh, overall Australian team. Because a, a folk have, hopefully Steve Smith has realised that you can't win many one-day internationals when your only spinner is a little Glenn Maxwell or Travis Head. It's simply not going to be possible to win lots and lots of one-day internationals where your only spinner is a dibbly part-time off-spinner. So you need a wicket-taking frontline spinner to be there in your 11, and the question is who, and what what the role will play, and exactly what position they will have within the bowling attack. That's an open question. That doesn't affect the Ashes, of course. The uh, Australia's test match bowler continues to be Nathan Lyon, and Australia seemed pretty comfortable in the idea that Nathan Lyon should be a test match only bowler. They gave him a shot in the One Day Internationals here and there a couple of years ago, but uh, he pretty much um, uh, didn't live up to expectations, and they seem to have decided that it's just worth uh, keeping him in just one form of the game. Okay, oh, now the other the other question would be the the wiki keepers, which is continuing to rage on and on and on. So. Both the two players who are competing for spots in the Australian Ashes team are Matthew Wade and Peter Neville. And both of them have not been able to come up with the high quality performances to force their position into the Australian Test team. Both of them have failed to score any sorts of big runs. Uh, Both of them have been quite embarrassing and pathetic at times. And... uh, Neither of them have really made the case, and the Australian selectors are almost in a situation where they have to just pick the lesser of the two evils, because, oh, one of them scored slightly more runs than the other, well, I guess he gets to get in. So they're in that sort of an unfortunate situation where uh, players aren't scrambling over each other for a spot in the test team. Instead, it's almost a... 
almost picking the best from a bad bunch. That's not to say that Peter Neville and Matthew Wade have been doing shockingly, but they have not scored a lot of runs for a quite a long time, and none of the other wicketkeepers have made a real case for why they should be in the test team. So there's just nothing left to be said about uh, these wicketkeeper situations. So that's going to be a key question as the three rounds of the Sheffield Shield before the first test between England at Brisbane in late November happens. And so that is, uh, those are the issues that have to be played out and we will be seeing them through the course of these Sheffield Shield rounds. But that's the end of the one day series between India and Australia.